we need to have a serious conversation um, about something that's been going on and I'm going to be speaking to someone directly and I know for a fact they're going to be watching this video. A couple things I wanted to clarify, I did try to message this person but I've been blocked so that's why I'm coming on here and talking about it and second, um, I knew when I started this channel I wanted to share the good the bad and the ugly of having a business and running a business and I didn't want to just show like the glamorous stuff like you know the long tail of shipping labels and all the packages and everything like that like that's all great amazing but I feel and I've said this many times I feel like people don't talk about the the bad side of running a business and this is one of those things so I want to be super transparent and share this with you guys you know what I'm going through right now and it's it's really not fun so you guys might remember a while ago I talked about the downsides of you know running a business and I mentioned that this other business um, this girl she stole all my product descriptions and used them as her own um, and you know I said in that video how it was like totally not okay to do that please don't do that if you're a business and you're watching me that's never okay to do it's actually really frowned upon and um, looked down on in the small business community posted that video and a couple days later that girl messaged me we'll show that conversation right here I'm not gonna expose this person I'm just gonna show what we talked about to give you guys the full story and show you what is going on with this person like it's really unbelievable at this point you know she says all of this she's apologetic and it honestly took courage for her to message me so I appreciated that you know I appreciated her coming to me about it and just you know being honest and you know I gave her the benefit of the doubt she's new um, maybe she truly didn't mean any harm okay I get it whatever you know I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt I don't want any problems with anyone I wanted to be nice but also stand my ground and defend myself and I let her know like hey you know, I really appreciate you coming to me with this. Um, you can pause to read right here, but basically just like making sure I get the point across that, hey, like, you know, it's not okay to do this. Use your own words. Um, and honestly, just trying to warn her about, you know, people coming and attacking her about this type of stuff. But she replies saying this, you know, basically that, that she wants to have a unique identity and she's going to make sure that you know nothing is really similar things like that i took it as okay she got the hint she's gonna back off you know whatever i let it go i didn't follow her because i just didn't want to see someone that like looked exactly like me and mind you she doesn't follow me at this point okay she's never followed me but the way i found her was she voted on one of the polls on my instagram stories that was the first thing i ever noticed about this person that's how i found them the second thing she did was she left a comment on my um, YouTube plaque unboxing video. That was before I posted the video of this person stealing my product description. And then she posted a video on why she had to change her logo. And it was like a little like, not insulting, but just a little like dishonest because in the video she goes to say that she had to change her logo due to lack of research and it ended up looking so super similar to another small business which i was like lack of research you know like i think you did a little too much research but whatever i wasn't gonna say anything i was gonna you know i let it go like it's whatever but again kind of playing it off like she never knew who i was she never took any of my ideas or whatever when she clearly said that my money saving hacks inspired her to make her own video but you didn't know you didn't do enough research, so I don't know, whatever. Um, so that was the first thing that happened after our conversation. I've gotten messages about this person before from other people, like letting me know, which by the way, you guys, I really, really appreciate you guys looking out for me. Um, it really means a lot, not just with this person, but with other people that are stealing my videos and you guys are messaging me, letting me know. And I've been able to get some taken down, so I really, really appreciate you guys looking out. Like you guys are awesome so thank you so so much some time went by and um someone said they tried to tag me in a video saying like you know mentioning me in one of her videos i never got that mention i go back to look um on my tiktok never had any mentions from anyone regarding this person so i thought okay i'm probably blocked so i go to check her account doesn't pop up I switched to my personal account and sure enough her account pops up so I've been blocked confirmed but what I'm also thinking is she probably 
filtered out my name um, because I didn't see any comments like saying my name or anything. So I don't know if that has to do with me being blocked or if she filtered my name, which either way, she knows she's guilty of something. Um, otherwise, why would she block me after we had already squashed the beef, which there wasn't any beef to begin with. But I watched her most recent video and, and now I can see why she blocked me. Um, so I'll just show you guys what I saw. Working a nine to five where you're underappreciated, underpaid, and easily replaced sucks. Working nine to five after becoming a mom in a job where you're underpaid and not appreciated at all sucks. Oh, and of course, being miserable and depressed was an added bonus. And then the mountain high childcare fees are like added bonus to the misery. Felt like I was living to work instead of working to live. It was like I was working just to pay for childcare with very little left in hand. Basically, that was a video that I posted back when I like first started my business. And I kind of see the pattern now. So she's basically going all the way back to my videos and recreating like a lot of my old videos. <laughs> it's really a scummy thing to do. Like we squash the beef and then you're going to block me and go and do what you said you weren't going to do. And the thing is, is that she's still watching me, guys. Like she's still watching me on other accounts you know because she doesn't follow me she doesn't she has me blocked so she's watching me from other accounts and watching what i'm posting and posting the same things or very similar or like for example i will show you a screenshot of what i posted right here and it said something along the lines of like for the book girlies like stay tuned there might be something for you coming to the shop soon or whatever right um and then a week later guess who has bookmarks coming to their shop, you know? And again, I'm not saying I own bookmarks. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's just like literally one thing after another, the patterns are there that like every single thing I do or say this girl is like right imitating me at this point. And it's really just like creepy <laughs> at this point and like frustrating. And I mean, regardless of anything, like that video, for example, was just borderline plagiarism. Like you're stealing my work, my words, my feelings. And it's just honestly really unprofessional as a small business and a brand that you're doing this and just plain wrong. Like as a person for you to do this to someone is like really wrong and, and messed up and kind of creepy and weird to be honest. She's recreating a bunch of like of the Amazon videos, like the boyfriend uh, packs an order channel, like all these things like she's recreating again, like I don't own them do you know you don't need my permission that's not what i'm saying but it's like literally one thing right after another that i do she's like right on top of it i wouldn't care but now you're actually stealing my work now you're actually stealing my words and my feelings and my hard work that I, on these videos that were you know very vulnerable for me at the time and you're stealing those everything is almost exactly the same like the link tree, the descriptions, like everything is almost the same. I'm posting whatever I can that won't like totally expose who this person is. I'm being like very vague with what I show because I can't show too much without like showing the name or the business. And again, that's not my intention. I have a lot of very loyal followers, you guys, and I'm like very grateful for you. But I just feel that if I posted this person, this person's account, like all hell would break loose and people would go and just you know say the most brutal hurtful things for the, to this person um not all of you because i know you know some of your you know defend me with but still remain nice but like some of you guys are, are savage you know so i don't want to send that her way i mean it's really i don't i truly don't want that you know i'm just trying to post this video to get the point across like I don't need you to unblock me and I know you're listening right now I know you're watching this I don't need you to unblock me I don't need you to say anything to me I I just want you to stop that's it like I'm just asking you to please stop because what you're doing is just it's not okay I worked very very hard growing my you know social media being my own authentic self and for you to steal those words and for you to pretend like those are your feelings and your emotions is not okay in the least especially as a brand and a small business it's honestly so shameful for you to do that as a business um and as a brand if you're a small business owner please take my advice and grow authentically be your own self like there's one thing it's one thing to follow trends and you know recreate someone's trends and you know hop on the train whatever that's one thing but to blatantly steal work from someone else and copy their brand is a completely different thing that um you shouldn't do it it's really again it's very frowned upon in the small business community and 
people will remember. People remember that stuff. And you don't want to be known for for being, you know, the copycat version of so and so. That's my little take on it. Again, to this person, I don't need you to say anything to me at all. Don't even unblock me. Just please just stop. Let's let's get into a happier mood. I'm right now I'm packing some orders. And you know, surprisingly, this is the first week that has been fairly slow. It's been like I want to say like two months in a row of over 40 orders a week which you may not think is a lot but for me it's a lot just because that means 40 orders doesn't mean 40 cups or you know 40 sweatshirt no it means like 80 cups something like that i'm not even kidding you it means like yeah probably like 60 cups whatever that are all handmade and i'm honestly pretty grateful for it because i feel like i just needed um you know a chance to sit down and just do like a lot of restocking on certain things and catching up um and now i'm able to do that which is really nice yeah i think it's the calm before the storm because you know with all the holidays coming up i just feel that it's going to be insane i also wanted to show you guys some new packaging that i started doing before i had all my milk cartons just like stacked on my um wall ready to ship but without the box and um i recently just started putting a sticker of the design on the box having it on the shelf and ready to ship and it's just made everything so much easier so i just like literally put a sticker on it and boom you know and i want to like be honest and say that i haven't been sharing as much as i usually do because of the situation that you know i just explained with this girl um and that's kind of why i've been like not sharing as much as i used to because you know everything i say and do is going to be taken anyway so that's why I've kind of been holding back and that's why I haven't said anything about any future products or anything because my every move is being watched. I have to let that go and just accept that I've done what I can and I'm not going to let this person hold me back from being myself and you know if this person wants to copy everything I do that's up to them. I can't control what others do I can only control how I react and what I do about it and I'm going to choose to not let it bother me. In a bit I'm going to show you some new things that I just that I'm going to be adding to the shop and some new packaging and things like that. Yeah, guys, I'm just going to finish up these orders and then I will show you the rest of the stuff that I wanted to show you. Okay, let's get to packing. So one of the very first things I wanted to show you guys was actually these um, little ghosty stickers because I think they're so, so cute. They're like groovy little ghosts. Look at they're like wearing these little sunglasses and I thought they were so cute. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this yet either, but I did get some spooky tape to match my poly mailers. And um, I was originally gonna do these ghosts instead of these, but I just felt like these were so plain and like boring. So that's why I chose these instead. Because if you're interested in custom packaging tape, custom stickers, all of these are from Sticker Mule, as well as all my custom poly mailers, all my bubble mailers. All, everything you see here is from Sticker Mule. As always, they're literally my favorite for everything. And I always have a $10 credit in the description for any custom packaging that you guys want and if you want to try it out. So make sure to check that out in the description if you want any custom packaging. The second thing I wanted to show you is also from Sticker Mule. That's where I get all my stickers. You can also use the $10 credit on this. I recently got some of these stickers they're just like these cute little jeep inspired stickers they're so so cute i actually have one similar to this for puppy lux but of course it has dogs in it and i'll show you that now so this is the puppy lux one and if you guys don't know what i'm talking about i have a second business for dog accessories this is the puppy lux one it's just got little 
goldens in it. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, I'm gonna take this time to restock. So I've already kind of started. This is like pretty good considering um, because the last couple weeks have been nothing but empty shelves. Um, so I'm really excited to do that because again, I've been super, super busy and it's so nice to just finally sit down and catch up on that. Also just to show you what I do during like when I don't have as many orders, I'm gonna restock everything, including my thank you card. So for example, this is all I have left. Um, that are assembled so i'm gonna have to assemble some more which means i'm going to have to add the um, rose gold little scratch off sticker and some freebies on the back um, nothing too crazy but it is time consuming so okay and last thing i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the printer so if you guys remember i got this printer for eco solvent printing and i know a lot of people were getting confused with sublimation this is not sublimation this is eco solvent printing so the colors are not supposed to come out dull and then they um, appear bright on the garment no 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 this is eco solvent printing. So the ink is supposed to be very high quality and bright. And that was the problem that I was having for a long time. I couldn't figure out how to get, you know, like really good quality. I have, was having trouble with distorted images, things like that. So I'm gonna show you some updates that I have without revealing too much of this design because I think I might add it to the shop and I'm not sure yet. So I'm just gonna show you a little part of it. Okay, so I'm trying my best to hide the design, but I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but tell me if I'm crazy, okay? This was the one that came out a little bit more dull. And this is the one that came out a little bit more bright. You can totally see that, right? So I've been playing around with some of the settings and I think I finally got one down. So I'll show you another part of the design. Okay, this is another part of the design and you can definitely tell the difference here. So look how dull and flat that looks and look at the difference right here. You can totally tell, right? That's all I'm going to give you for this video on the update for the printer. But next week we might be able to start making some transfers together. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. We'll have to see about it. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Make sure to check out my TikTok and Instagram for more content. And I will see you guys in the next one.